This poster has been presented at the 11th annual Spring Meeting on Cardiovascular Nursing held in Brussels, Belgium. The poster is entitled Parents of Adolescents with Congenital Heart Disease are not more overprotective than parents of healthy youngsters. Clinicians and researchers some, sometimes stipulate that parents of children with congenital heart disease are overprotective and it is assumed that this overprotective behavior hampers the child's development. However, we do not have empirical data that underpins this statement and therefore we needed to undertake a study on this. The first research question in the study was does parenting style in parents of adolescents with congenital heart disease differ from that of parents of healthy youngsters? Second research question was is the parenting style associated with psychosocial outcomes and health behavior? This study is a part of a large-scale longitudinal study comprising four waves. For the analysis of this study, we based, our, uh, we based us on uh, cross-sectional data. Patients could be included if they had a confirmed diagnosis of congenital heart disease, if they were 14 to 18 years of age, had their last cardiac consultation less than five years ago, were able to read and write Dutch, and if valid contact details were available. Overall, 498 patients were available, of which 429 adolescents participated. This corresponds with a response rate of 86%. The median age was 16.3 years. We also recruited control subjects. Overall, we were able to recruit 403 control subjects, which were matched on gender and age with the patients. For the study, a set of established questionnaires with good psychometric properties was developed, and a set of questionnaires was sent by mail to the patients. This test battery comprised questionnaires on parenting, quality of life, perceived health, loneliness, depressive symptoms and health risk behaviors. With respect to parenting, three dimensions of parenting were measured. First, regulation, which is the, the degree of behavioral control. Second, the psychological control. And third, the responsiveness. This means how supportive parents are. We conducted a two-step cluster analysis to derive the parenting styles and we aggregated this for mothers and fathers. Subsequently, a one-way MANOVA and a chi-square test were used to assess differences in outcomes between the clusters of patients. This cluster analysis revealed four parenting styles. The first parenting style is the authoritative style or in other words a democratic parenting style. This is characterized by a high regulation, a high responsiveness but a low psychological control. The second parenting style is the overprotective parenting style, characterized by a high psychological control and a moderate uh, behavioral control. The indulgent parenting style is characterized by a low psychological and low behavioral control and a coercive parenting style is characterized by a high psychological control but a low regulation and low responsiveness. We found that the distribution of the parenting styles in patients did not differ significantly from the distribution in controls. And this means that parents of adolescents with congenital heart disease are not more overprotective than the parents of the healthy youngsters. What about the consequences of the parenting style? We found that an authoritative parenting style, in other words a democratic parenting style, was associated with the best outcomes in terms of depressive symptoms, loneliness, 
quality of life, health status, but also in terms of health risk behaviors. On the other hand, an overprotective parenting style or a coercive parenting style were associated with the worst outcomes. And these two parenting styles are uh, characterized by a high psychological control, suggesting that psychological control is detrimental for the adolescent. In conclusion, we identified four parenting styles in parents of adolescents with congenital heart disease. Parents of these adolescents are not more overprotective than parents of healthy children. A democratic parenting style yields the best outcomes, whereas overprotective and coercive styles are associated with worse outcomes. And finally, healthcare professionals should this take this up and advise and help parents of children with congenital heart disease to developing a democratic parenting style. The abstract of this poster has been published in the European Journal of Cardiovascular Nursing and the full paper of the study is to be published in the Journal of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics.